dispose of this annoyance at once. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the for you for Danganronpa 2. Goodbye, despair. Oh, boy, it has been a fucking minute since I last played this goddamn game. Hey, hey. And I am actually sorry about that. It's just... Whatever. Point is, I'm back, and this game is back, and we're back, and it's great. Okay. So, yeah, like I said, it has been a minute since I played this, and I do apologize for that, um, and I also apologize that this video comes out weird at all. It's just, my computer has been acting funky for a couple of uh, months, so hopefully things all work out. Yes. So, when last we left off, uh, fucking Mahiru, uh, camera girl, she got fucking got in our second murder, which I had been waiting for desperately. Yeah, so she got, yeah, so she got taken down in the second murder, and now we are going through that. We have already gotten a bit of the investigation started. I have gone over all the case notes we have so far. And, yeah. So, Here's open as we get back in it. <laughs> right, yeah, this fucker. Mikan, Ibuki, Yoko are all here. Thank you, me say. I really wanted Fuyuhiko to come too, but he locked himself in a cottage and wouldn't come out for me. Okay. Yeah, that sounds about right. Sorry. It's not because you're incompetent, it's because you're evil. What? <laughs> Executed. Ah, Nagito, you fucking card. You lion murder piece of shit. What the? Jeez. Ah, eh, damn it out. Wait. This is like I'm on the same team as Nagito. Fuck. No, I can't focus on that right now. I have to get information from them. I must. I have a mighty need. Hey, Buki, can I ask you something? Why you? Why are you so aggressive? Have you played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case? Guitar! I find that very hard to believe. I'm pretty sure that's a lie, but now it's not the time to really dwell on something like that. Her unique tone and hyper energy. There's a character like that in the game, too. Let me ask you one more thing. What's the relationship between you and Mahiru? <laughs> I mean, if you want to get into it, but now in a normal way. Damn it, Hajime, you fucking square. Disappointing face. I see, I see. Let's stay focused on Mahiru. That's totally it. Um. Do you know what she meant by everyone? Aww. I see. Mahiru invited Ibuki? Why? Probably because she was planning on murdering someone. 
Or at the very least confronting a murderer. Hey, do you have a minute? I don't think I wanted to ask you. Have you played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case, Mikan? Timid tone. I'm pretty sure the girl A character was like that too. Hey, hey. <laughs> well. Probably, but that's not what's important here. She doesn't know anything. No, it's probably she doesn't remember anything. Yeah. Hmm. Invite. Oh, invite. This morning. Look forward to the snap with her. Mahiru invited Makan. Why? I see. Why do you know that? You don't know? Excuse me. Gassy today. That's true. Mm. That's true. Well, it's true. It's true, that was unexpected. Nagito, didn't you tempt her into playing that game? Huh? I remember. You tempted her, right? Just like you did to me. Who me? You saucy bitch. No, that's wrong. Isn't that right? <laughs> you did fucking tempt her, you piece of shit. It's obvious. What the heck? Well... Hey. Well, Hioka? Well, that's just a lie. Bye. Fuck you going, child. Hey, Yoko. God. Ignoring my boast, Yoko ran away as though she were avoiding me. Because she was. Yay. <laughs> Decided. Now then. Now. Don't kill anyone. Or 
tempt him. What the heck is his problem? Even his exit was pushy. Chucky, what should we do? Should we go back to the scene of the crime one more time and investigate? I'm out here at his cottage. Yeah, we got a fucking... Since she beat the game, she might be the one who got the fucking thing. So it's... It did her cottage. Oh, the ending prize. If that's the case, I'll go with you. You're okay with that, right? That's your cue to say yes. Ready then. To the cottage! Away! I need a silver! Damn it, why can't this high school student afford a horse? Oh, there you are. The door looks unlocked. Dead as fuck. I guess I should go inside. Hey, look, I'm on Kuma. Compared to my room, the cottage had a somewhat pleasant smell wafting throughout the throughout the room. That proves my hero was here. But she's not coming back. Um. Why? Yep. Kidding? Are are you that kind of person? Jeez. Well, at least I don't feel nervous anymore. Wait, could that be the reason she said she said that? See? <laughs> Just right there. On top of the bed. What's a bed? Well, first, behind the TV. No. So you fucking nerd. You're mine now. I actually slipped walking so much. Yeah, you fucking pooped. There's an envelope on top of the bed. Hey, hey. Let's find out. I turned over the envelope, and what came falling out was a few photos. <gasps> this is a photo of Mikan, Ibuki, and Hyoka in what appears to be some sort of entrance hall. It's just like that game. Is this the photo she took? Okay, so we're just getting right into this this early. I mean, we did already kind of get into it with, I believe at the beginning of the game, Monokuma did say, yeah, y'all fuckers have been like me for like two years, dude. A broken vase. As I recall, a broken vase was in the classroom next, next to the music room. I think the same photo. But still. 
Oh. As Chucky showed me the fo- showed the photo to me, I was stunned into silence. Oh shit. Who are you? Who's that? It looks like Sonya? You mean it's the victim of the murder that occurred on the first day? Uh, it does match the body in your game. Okay, some shit's going on. Oh boy. Good, I'm glad we could agree on this. So, based on all these photos... This is the ending prize for beating Twilight. Once well, depicted in these photos, proves that Twilight Syndrome murder case is based on an actual murder. A couple actual murders. Does that mean that stuff about our memories being stolen? Is there something else? What you do, should remember what you all did to my sister. This note. Wait, time out. Someone else sent this to Mahiru. And that person is the one who actually received the ending prize. Mahiru wasn't just lured there by Nagato. She also received this envelope. Yep. Then the person who played this game first. This envelope looks very familiar. And the word sister is written on this note. Based on these clues, I can't think of anyone other than him. Uh. Hey, hey. Yeah, I agree. But there's still one thing left. We have to find out who actually killed Mahiru, but... There's not much time left. I need to hurry. Okay. Who the fuck do I know that as a sister? Yeah, fuck, I don't know, man. Guess what happens when you don't fucking play a game for fucking months. Okay, where we go? Ah, fucker! <laughs> Quitizens. Are you a stalker or something? I mean, yeah. Now, now. Really? 
Results. Did you find something? Down to me. Huh. It didn't sound like a joke to me. Actually. Oh. Find out whose footprints those are. <laughs> God damn it, you fucking scrub. With you. I don't trust him as far as I can throw him. But if I can get a clue. What are you gonna do, Chiaki? Later, girl. What? Actually, what do you mean? Bye now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want to stay? Fo okay, later. Okay, where the fuck is? Hi, Barry. No, we warp. I don't even fucking know what that means. I've gone a long way, but I need to get my fucking steps in. That's my Fitbit fucking blinks or whatever it does, I don't know. I forgot you run on the foreground. Yeah, like, look at that. <laughs> Forgot about that. Not yet. I'm deeper into the mountain. Mountains, Gandalf. Mountains. I completely forgot this door went open. Because my <laughs> I actually did forget that. It's oh god. I'm an investigator. Now then. My. Oh, bye everyone. Terrible discovery. Why do you look so fucking happy? Oh, good. You too, Mikan? So do you, bro. The fuck? This guy's just so laid back. I should leave him alone. Forever. It appears. Yes, he is. 
Yes, I do. Yes, it does. I apologize. No, you aren't. Dead news. Dead fuck. Okay, fucking get it. Tell me. What's the big news? Yeah, I'm looking at it. Oh, the mask the killer used to hide their face. Listen. Then what was it for? Well. Okay. Okay. That what? Mm. Mm hmm. That is an order. Okay. Oh. Okay. Heroin mask. Looks like a knockoff Dragon Quest character. Hmm. Fucking probably, dude. Yeah, th this is stupid. Still a killer, my ass. The killer just used to cover their face. That's weird. That. Might be true, but however, as the light of justice shines upon my mask, I expose the hearts of malevolent evil. The hell, justice complete. The center of justice that is pierced by justice. The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky. That would be me. Sparkling justice! You're a bit too into this, girl. What the heck was that? Why does it smell like fish in here all of a sudden? It's a bit long for a catchphrase. What? Do you have a minute? So, wait a minute, so, However, is, the Sparkling Justice is a real serial killer. Is this a fucking another Genocide Jack shit again? Fucking, God damn it. Isn't that kind of a stretch? Is that there's a serial killer hiding in our group? Listen. They could just be on the island. <laughs> just, just fucking rolled up like yo, what up? Wow. Hey, yo, what to do, Jabwalk Island? Fuck sparkling justice up in the up ins. Yeah, you can't believe it because it's Ugh. like the idea. Okay, one of us, one of us capable of committing a horrible murder. That's completely understandable. It's already happened, S Sonia. I do, I do understand Sonia's feelings, but it's highly unlikely that there's a serial killer hiding on this island, unless it is one of us, which it probably is because anime. Oh well, fucking Mikan. You got something to say too, right? You got something to say too, right? Um. Uh. 
I get it. So just get on with it, please, for love of God. I was wide awake before I started recording. The second I hit record, just like... <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess that's something. What does that mean? Oh, wait. Fucking... Her death was instant. That sounds a little strange. I think I'd better remember that. Just tell me. Like, I get it, you have anxiety, but... I have anxiety too, and it's still a bit much. I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't. But I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. About what we discussed earlier, is it okay if we change the place and time? I want you to come to the beach house on the second island at 2:30 p.m. It seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. It would be bad if they started suspecting us for no reason. Kyoko Sayonji. This, this letter. Son of a dick biscuit. Plus, Mahiro's estimated time of death was around 3:30 p.m. was around 3 p.m. and they met 30 minutes prior. That's true. What does that mean? What happened between Mahiro and Hyoko? Ranku Apple! Hey, tell me what you know already. Didn't you find out whose footprints those were? Actually, how are you able to find that out? Everyone's cottages. Yep. Okay then. Fuck, dude. That bastard. He does something shady again. No. God damn it, Nagito! You said you stopped doing shady shit. Nagito squatted down near the entrance of the beach house and began to spread some papers he was holding. See. Got traces of everyone's shoe sizes. Those footprints. I see, so that's the reason you snuck into everyone's cottage. Yep. Stuck it while they slept to trace the feetsies. <laughs> Wh whose footprints are they? Yoko's. Well, perhaps. You're treating her like a small animal, which is appropriate. <laughs> she is a small fucking. Badger demon. Okay, so both of them came in through the door that Maher is blocked against. Um. 
and then Yoko left out the back door. Something interesting? See? Yeah, she was here. That's... Oh, no lemon. Okay, did say lemon gummy, right? Yep, I'm one of them. What's wrong with that? Ain't nothing wrong with my brand. Just in case. Come from this guy, that means... It probably greatly released the incident. Baby, it's time. Yeah. The time for unparalleled hedonism has come <laughs> to an end. Come. Now is the time to fight the decisive battle. The hostility of fresh blood. The insanity of a contest of wits. The class trial is finally raising its curtain. Yes. So meet up in front of Monokuma Rock. Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. Yes. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Later, dude. Now then. It's time, motherfuckers. Yeah. You already heard your fucking four-hour episode, ladies and gentlemen. I figured this would happen. It would be a really short one or a really long one. And <laughs> given that we're about... Just shy of 40 minutes into this. Yeah, we're going long. All right. All right. <laughs> I speak American as my, as my regular accent. There's no reason to respond to a guy like that. Anyway, we should start heading over. At the trial field where Monokuma is waiting. Have to make my case there. There is no escape. I mean, I got no choice but to press forward, because all y'all motherfuckers. As we talked among ourselves, we left the beach house and Mahiru's body. Uh, so where is Monokuma Rock again? Oh, right, yeah, it... It's on the central island. Forgot about that. It's been a bit, like I said. Right, yeah, the robot animals. I forgot we got fucking zords out here. Terrible place for a lighthouse. What we do? Clean up the shit. And away we go. To the real shit. <sighs> so fucking pumped. What's going on? Jeez. God damn it. Yep, okay. Yep, good. Otherwise, we all fucking die. Do these people god damn not understand that? Fucking teenagers. Got her in the dread of half Nelson. Unbelievable. Was that the power ball, Mac? God, she's broken in half. Cool, cool. 
He's still in his fucking cabin being a bitch. Um. Oh. Okay. That's new. That's... That's really new. Oh, those Sundaris begin to grow a heart. Wait. What does that mean? Anyway. Can you like shrink back down? See ya later. Please. You're freaking me out. This is bad. It's fucking. <clears throat> Like someone from a fucking psychological horror manga. This too must be the will of causality. <laughs> Fuck you, you berserk quoting motherfucker. That's right. I can only moving forward is the only option. Because I'm talking in. <laughs> it's nearly showtime. There's a reason I don't talk to him a lot. Oh. I forgot how fucking sad she is. Alrighties. Oh man. You do. I can just, I can just look over the fucking evidence going into the trial. Then. <laughs> Let's rip it go. My dick is rock hard. I've been waiting. I've been waiting for all day for this. Now someone touch me. To be it. It's gotta, man. It's gotta. Cause it's bad. <laughs> we cannot forget the killer because it is bad. Do you have to shit again? Is that what this is about? If you don't shit for long enough, do you get lightning powers? Hey, hey! He's a stuffed animal, right? I don't even know anymore, man. I can't just stand around all day. I fucking can't, dude! Oh my gosh, I'm just pissing up my ass. I don't know. And last but not least, that's in there, right? My idea of Yakuza had kind of been tainted slash improved, I guess. By actually playing the Yakuza games. So evil. It's like anytime anybody calls themselves a Yakuza, I'm just like, fucking no, you're not, dude. Rip that shirt off. Let's have a fucking fist fight. Somehow I moved my muscles, stiff from fear and nerves, and awkwardly walked in on the escalator. For some reason, my breath was short, and was eventually struck by a similar feeling of feeling similar to dizziness. The moment all of us were inside Monica Morocco.
A rumbling sound filled the room, and the surrounding space began to fall. It's an elevator. As it shook with the clatter, the elevator we were inside continued to drop. Throughout that drop, I was fluctuating between feeling hope and despair. As if my heart was a rotten fruit, swelling in the sun before it finally goes squish. I suddenly stopped breathing. My consciousness began to fade from the pressure. I tried to endure that pressure by firmly standing my, on my legs. After a while, the elevator's vibrations gradually weakened. And then it stopped altogether. King can go back to the same fucking courtroom. That'd be boring. That is. No, no. <laughs> I'm just fucking bored. Let's go, dog. I don't even know what you fucking are anymore, dude. Wait, if having no purpose is your purpose, doesn't that mean that you have a purpose? Thus you failed at your purpose? It's starting. The class trial is starting. Mahiro Koizumi. The ultimate photographer. She had an unyielding force of personality. But was actually very good at taking care of people. Most importantly, she was always straightforward. The person that killed her... Is Among Us? I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it, but... Regardless, we need to find the answer. It doesn't matter if you believe it or not. Because it's the only way. Aside from finding out who the killer is, there's no other way. For us to survive. And so, this life-threatening trial billowing with hope and despair has begun. Yes, we'll look at some progress. And I'll be right back. So we did a quick break. Then we get back into the trial proper. And we're back, so. Let's set us some fucking skills. Assuming I have any. I do not. Goody. So. Once again, let's head over to the fucking thing. So, the victim is Mahiro Koizumi, estimated time of death is around 3 p.m. The scene of the crime where the body was discovered is inside the beach house at Chandler Beach. The cause of death was a, is a single blow to the head with a blunt instrument. There are no other conspicuous external injuries and no trace of foreign substances such as drugs. Blood stain on the floor had a streak leading to the roads leading to the roadside door, as if Mahiru had crawled through it. Footprints on the beach. Footprints were found at the crime scene. The trail leads from the beach house and loops around toward the road. The footprints were Hyoko's. This metal bat was found at the scene of the crime due to the blood stains coating it, and it's believed to be the murder weapon. The murder weapon used in the Twilight Syndrome murder case was a metal bat, too. There were a bunch of empty plastic bottles inside, inside the trash can of the beach house. They were probably drinks in the refrigerator. A mask of the anime character Sun Witch Esper Ito found at the crime scene. A gummy candy. 
from the closet of the beach house. Okay, that might be melon. Beach house shower room, unfortunately the shower is out of order and cannot be used. The only window in the shower room. It can be opened, but due to its high location, it can't be accessed unless you hitch a piggyback ride from someone. In Twilight Center murder case, the tip of a fish tank was found in the music room where the, vic where the first victim's body was discovered. Gravel and water were scattered everywhere. There was a broken window in the music room where the first victim's body was discovered. Normally, you can't leave the music room without passing through the entrance hall. Girl E, who appeared in Twilight Zone murder case, Twilight Center murder case, apologies, had her swimsuit stolen by someone. The ending prize was found in Mahiru's room. It consists of an envelope containing four photographs. There was also a letter included in the envelope that says, says, Try playing Twilight Syndrome. After you get a game over, press down five times for the real game. Once you do, you should remember what you all did to my sister. We'll talk then. One of the ending prizes. A picture of Mikan, Ibuki, and Hyoko at what appears to be an entrance hall. One of the ending prizes. A photo of a broken vase. Girl D showed Girl E this photo in Twilight Syndrome murder case. The vase was broken in the classroom next to the music room. One of the ending prizes. A crime scene photo of the victim after she was killed in the music room. One of the one of the prizes. One of the ending prizes. A crime scene photo of girl E after she was killed. It looks like she was killed with a metal bat. Apparently there were a lot of these inside Kyoko's room. Each bag comes with four flavors. Strawberry, melon, grape, and orange. Letter Mahiru. Found her pocket. I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find, I couldn't find something with this email box. Blah, blah, blah. Meet me at the thing at 4.30. 2.30. Don't let anyone fucking know. Suspicion. Kyoko Saonji. Let's kill the blow to the head from behind and died instantly. Okay. Looks like we're good to go. Let's get this bitch started. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. During the class trial, you will present your argument oh, for who Biakia. the killer You're is not missed. and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person... I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. Whoa! No matter how many times I hear it, it's such a cruel rule. Now then, let's first discuss the motive. That masterpiece of gaming, Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. Wasn't really what? a game, though. Who cares about that game? Murder? The outcome of this trial should be determined by whether or not we find Mahiru's killer. Nevertheless, we shouldn't ignore it. After all, that game is the motive this time. Yeah, you're right. Then let's try discussing that first. I'm sure everyone who's beaten the game already knows that it's based on an actual murder case. Some of us have not beaten that game. Give us a detailed explanation. It means Twilight Syndrome Murder Case is a non-fiction game. <gasps> Additionally, some of us are characters in that game too. Some of us are characters in a video game? So, I think it's better if we clarify who the characters in the game are first. Oogly doogly. The characters in the game were Girl A, Girl B, Girl C, Girl D, Girl E, Boy F. An high school girl who got killed at the beginning. By using the staff roll after clearing the game as a reference, I should be able to figure out who's who. First character the player controlled was Girl A. The identity of Girl A is probably. I believe it was Mikan? I see! Girl A is probably Mikan Tsumiki. <laughs> that timid tone. That definitely sounds like Girl A. Based on the list of names in the staff role, I can't think of anyone else who would be Girl A. Not so much privacy. A nasty, trashy pig shit like you doesn't have any privacy rights. Ah, a nasty, trashy pig shit. 
I feel like I heard that in the game too. Huh? Uh, fuck. Girl, see? Damn it! Damn it! Fuck ass. Titties. Okay, uh. D? Fuck! Damn it! Okay, yeah, I don't remember a whole lot about that fucking game. I see. Okay, it's been months. Girl B was short and foul mouthed. She's probably Hyoko. Short and foul mouthed? That's like the complete opposite of me. Bitch! Anyway, let's move on. Next is Girl C. That would be a Buki. Girl C is Ibuki. Girl C? Then I'll see you next Tuesday. What? Let's move on to Girl D. <laughs> girl D is the only one person in the camera with him. Bye, C. Girl D is my hero. The victim in this case. Yeah, that's correct. Let's skip Girl E and talk about Guy F. Fuyuhiko. I see. Aren't you guy F, Fuyuhiko? Huh. I was in a game? That's fucking stupid. Uh, that reminds me. Wasn't there another person whose last name was also Kuzuryu? Another person? It was one of the names on the staff roll. The names were Sumiki, Koizumi, Sayonji, Miyoda. Sato, Kuzuryu, and then another Kuzuryu. Hold on! Why do you keep saying there were two Kuzuryus? Because there were. It's not like I'm wrong. That's how it's written on the staff roll. Since you beat the game, you probably know what this actually means, right? Three of Fuhiko's last name, Kuzuryu, appears twice. I'm sure I have a hunch, but... Call me out like that. Nagato, you're definitely someone I shouldn't mess with. I look forward to messing with you for the rest of the game. Because he had an older sister? Damn it! Damn it. You had a little I sister. Prove it, with this. it was a fucking coin flip In the game, for me. IF, Kuzuryu, mentions that he has a little sister. Sister. The fuck do you think I mean? This is what Guy F said in the game. It's pretty clear. There's no doubt that Guy F had a little sister. Plus, the sister actually appeared in the game. That's why the name Kuzuryu appeared twice. By the way, what role did Guy F's little sister, the other Kuzuryu, play? You probably noticed, right? She played a corpse. I don't really want to say it myself, but I need to move the conversation forward. I saw a girl who died at the beginning. The dead high school girl who was the first victim in the game is the only person I can think of. Also, if you see some hitching in this, um, Based on sorry about that. Like I said, tone in the, game, the computer's been weird lately. That girl E is not his little sister. So if the only person left is the dead high school girl, then she must be Fuyuhiko's sister. Why do you sound so fucking happy? That's a winning personality you've got there. Winning personality? Are you praising me? Oh. You're being sarcastic, dumbass. Hey, you said the game is a work of non-fiction. That means Fuyuhiko's little sister is... Yeah, I have a little sister. Something wrong with that? It's just a fucking game. Don't go mixing up some video game with reality. It's not just a game. It's definitely based on true events. Hundo Paseno. That's why it's the movie. 
Don't go making shit up, bastard! If she was the type to die easily, I'd have fucking killed her myself a long time ago. I mean, when I first entered Hope Speak Academy, she, she was mouthing off to me as usual and sent me off. It happened just the other day. Um, about that, you're probably thinking like that because you've lost your memories. Shut the fuck up! You be quiet! I see. So you're never gonna accept that that game is based on true events, huh? Okay, I understand your attitude toward this class trial now. Nagito, you seem to be doubting Fuyuhiko a lot. Do you suspect he's the killer? A mystery that easy would make me feel sad. It wouldn't be good enough to serve as everyone's stepping stone. That's why. I'd be much happier if Fuyuhiko wasn't the killer. Okay, you're starting to act weird again. Starting to. Anyway, Dude. Now we've established who all the characters in the game are. Girl A is Mikai. Girl B is Hiyoko. Girl C is Ibuki. Girl D is Mahiru. Guy F is Fuyuhiko. And the first victim in the game that dead high school girl is Fuyuhiko's little sister. That's just a story in a fucking game. Oh, he's sweating. If so, then girl E is Miss Sato. Could it be? The same Miss Sato who likes white rice? I don't know what Sato you're talking about, but I don't think she's relevant to this case. Maybe it's related to Gundam's last name, since they're both really plain names. What the heck is that law connection? Tanaka may be an ordinary family name, but it's far better than Sato or Suzuki. And he also has a strange rivalry going on. Hey, no one cares about that. Hurry up and talk about the mystery of the game. Huh? What do you mean, mystery of the game? My, my, you don't know. I heard that girl E got killed. What? No way! Is that true? Getting killed is so violent, don't you know? My! Such awful times we live in! Why did this happen? You guys are definitely friends. So the mystery of the game is the murder of Girl E, correct? Then let's hurry up and solve it! Let's first figure out why Girl E was killed. Reason Girlie was killed. Um, Girlie was killed. Girl was murdered. Girlie killed. Was murdered. Was Girlie was Fiki's sister? Nah. Cause she. Damn it! Crap! Fucking ass, bitch! I see. Yeah, that was my first instinct, but it's like, and maybe. was killed is because she killed the first victim in the game. Which means Girl E was killed as revenge for the dead high school girl. What do you think, Fuyuhiko? Apparently, Girl E was killed to avenge your little sister. You're fucking persistent. I don't care what that game said at all. But. But. But? Is. Is that true? Girl E. She killed the first victim? In order to make that clear, we need to know more about the case involving the first victim's murder. It's the murder that occurred in the music room. I knew it would come up, so I prepared in advance. Yeah, you did. Look, I made a map of the music room's surroundings, which was the stage of the first case. I'm surprised you went to all this trouble. Mapping is second nature to retro game fans. Classic dungeon crawler RPGs have a first person point of view, so mapping as you play is a basic. <laughs> we get it! Let's talk about that later so we can focus on the case. Then, I'll start explaining. Girl A, Girl B, 
Girl C and Girl D were at the entrance hall when they heard the sound of glass breaking. I just noticed the fucking the, on, to the second floor and I'm fucking chef dude. Toro Toro fucking whatever his name is. It's the knife and fork. Girl E was in front of the music room on the second floor, and she confirmed that the sound came from in there. But the door to the music room was locked. So Girl D went to get the key from the office. And when the five of them were finally able to go inside. from a blow to the head. Because the music room's window was broken, the girls thought the killer escaped through there. The sound of breaking glass that they heard at the entrance hall seemed to confirm that. Plus, Girl E's school swimsuit was stolen, so they concluded that the escape killer was some pervert. How does that sound? Yep, an understandable explanation. Just as expected from the ultimate gamer who excels at clearing games. But it wasn't a pervert, right? You're right, how could he go Dark it Souls? A real killer, Girl E? Obviously. Girl E was waiting outside the music room for the other girls after she killed the first victim. Did she lock the music room from the outside? Then she would have totally needed the key from the office. Which means, Girly was hiding that key. We can assume she used it to lock the music room after she left it. The fuck we can. But, Girl D was the one who went to the office to get the key to the music room, right? By the way, since it was never mentioned in the game, we can exclude the possibility of there being a spare key. You can lock the music room from the inside, right? So from there, Girlie broke the window and escaped and sprinted to the front of the music room as fast as she could before the others arrived. She would have passed by the entrance hall where the other girls were waiting if she tried to do that. Then forget this. It's not cute to see an old guy sulk. Hey, is Girl E really the killer? We haven't reached an answer yet. Based on the detail of the game, it's no mistake the girl E, who's waiting in the hallway, is the killer. Then, what did girl E do after killing the girl inside the music room? I guess I need to clear that up first. After she killed the first victim in the music room, what did Girl E do? She just broke the window in the music room and escaped outside. So how did Girl E get from outside the school to the front of the music room? To go back to the music room from outside, you need to go through the entrance hall. Plus, at the entrance hall, the other four girls should have been there. At the entrance no, hall, the girls heard the sound of the window shattering. How was she able to get past those four and wait in front of the music room? She probably used a hidden passageway. Mm. Twilight's hidden passageway is the world's best! What girl E did after Ms. Grove can be clue. After she killed the first victim in the music room, what did Girl E do? She just broke the window and escaped out. So how did Girl E to the front of the music to go back to the you need to go through the bus at the, the other four girls? At the entrance, heard the sound of the How was she able to wait in front of the music? She probably used a hidden passageway. Nope. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Crap. After she killed the first victim in the music room, what did Girl E do? She just broke the window in the music room and escaped outside. So how did Girl E get from outside the school? I'm 
himself Hoda, so. Three of them and one other. For the base photo. Actually photo nothing there. Nothing there. I think it's gotta be the broken base photo. To go back to the music room from outside, you need to go through the entrance hall. Nope, fucking goddamn it! Crap! After she killed the first victim in the music, what did Girlie do? She just broke the window and escaped out. So how to go to the front of the music to go back to the? You need to go through. Plus, at the entrance, the other four girls should have been there. At the entrance hall, the girls. Heard the sound of the window shattering. How was she able to get past those four and wait in front of the music? She probably used a hidden twilight hidden passageway as the world's best! Okay, so. After she killed the first victim, what did Girlie do? She just broke the window and escaped out. So, how did Girlie to the front of the need to go back to the. You need to go through the bus and the other four go. At the entrance hall, the girls heard the sound of the window No, that's wrong! First of all, the sound the girls heard wasn't the window breaking. If it wasn't the window, then what broke to make that sound? A vase. A vase? How low can you go? After the murder, a broken vase was discovered in the classroom next to the music. So the sound of breaking no, the music glass that the music a bit much. heard wasn't the music room's window. It was the sound of the vase breaking. Probably. Actually, the murder was nearly finished by the time the four girls met in the entrance hall. Girl E killed the victim in the music room, broke the window, and went to the office to get the key. With that key, she locked the music room from the hallway, returned the key to the office, and went back to wait in front of the music room. Nope, nope, I don't think, no. All she had to do was break the vase in the next door classroom as the four girls met by the entrance hall. Seems a bit to much. make them think the murder had just occurred and that the killer had just escaped. Hmm. So, when the four of them ran over after they heard the sound, girl E acted like she had just rushed over too. Okay, I guess that's... Okay. Wait a minute. The mystery hasn't been solved. The way I the way I you fucking figured it what the was, was it yet. was it was you like bust the window, headed like headed kind of around yeah, to the, the classroom with the thing in it. We found out who the as she climbed was. in, the vase fucking shattered. Not cool. I went to all the trouble of making this death march, so you gotta stick with it to the end. What the heck? You're so annoying. Fine. Let's figure out the weapon. This keeps up. I'm gonna feel like I need to shit. You already need to shit. Don't Which fucking lie to yourself. Don't lie to us. Don't lie to yourself. You need to shit already. The weapon is pretty unconventional. The answer was revealed in the game, though. Now then, will you guys be able to figure it out? Was it the fucking fish tank? Yep, yeah, I have to do it again. Hmm, what do you think the weapon is? I have no idea. Was I out of line just now? Melian, there's something I need to tell you regarding the white noise and non-stop debates. Some lines of white noise are actually very durable. You won't destroy them in one shot. The durable white noise will chip away every time you shoot them with a silencer. But unless you completely destroy them, your talent will not be replenished. By the way, if the difficulty is set to channel, white noise won't appear at you get the gist, right? It appears the debate is getting tougher, so I've obtained some very useful information. Oh, 
fire, there's a guy named Gun something. Apparently he's a skill that can increase the power of the silencer. Gun something. I wonder who it is. Was I a line just now? Well then, good luck and have fun. Alright, let's fucking go. Yes, yeah, broke fish tank. A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. That's even bigger. Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducts universe. It's on that big a scale too. How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, it should have had blood stains. Was there a weapon with blood stains on it? She beat her to death with her fists. No conventional weapon apparently appeared in the game, but. A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. Up, oh, dicks. It's too big to be a weapon. Then the Wrong button. Fuck. You go any investigation. It's on that biggest. How about beating her with. If it's a weapon that was. It should have had. Was there a weapon with. She beat her to death with her fists! Weapon inside the What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. Damn it! Mm. A weapon inside the music room, huh? Okay. Fucking god damn it. What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Okay. Why are you going even bigger? Escape room. Investigation conducts universal chaos. It's on that big a scale too. How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, it should have okay. had blood stains. Maybe stole the swimsuit. A it blood stains on it? She beat her to death with her fists. Yeah, no, fuck. Unconventional weapon. Yeah, I... A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducts you. It's on that big a scale, too? How about beating her with gravel instead? Mm. Damn it! Ah, fuck, goddamn, okay. A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Okay. Broke fish tanks tipped over for iron gravel. Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. 
Why are you going even big? The investigation can- It's on that big a scale, too? How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, it should have had blood stains. Uh, don't fuck, not that. Ass. Damn it! I'm really good at this game. The music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death thing she attacked you? That's too big to dim the piano. Why are you going even investigation? It's on that biggest. How about beating her with blood? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, it should have had blood stains. <laughs> Fucking god. Weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going even big? The investigation. It's on that biggest. How about beating her with grub? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, it should have had blood stains. Is there a weapon with blood stains on it? She beat her to death with her fists! Okay. A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Damn it! God damn it! A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducts universal chaos. It's on that big a scale, too? How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was okay, used to I... beat them to death. It should have had blood stains. Was there a weapon with she beat her to death with her fists? A weapon in Fuck. Fuck. God damn it. Shit ass. Fuck. Okay. Ugh. This is my Fuck, fuck, yes. Yes, okay. We will never give up. Fuck, shit, ass. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so. A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. Let's try it's this too one. Big to be a weapon. Then the piano. I've already tried it, but fuck it. I'm fucking. Why are you going uh. even bigger? The investigation conducts universal. It's on that biggest. How about beating her with gravel instead? I agree with that. Uh. Thought about that. I thought I already tried it. Killer must have used gravel to attack the victim. My goodness, I got it right, and I was just throwing things out there, <laughs> just as I thought. I'm chosen by the gods. You're not chosen at all, and gravel is impossible. It's too small to be a weapon. Grab it up with a fucking swimsuit. The gravel put inside some sort of bag. A swimsuit kind of bag. Something that appeared in the game, and so is the bag. And the only thing I can think of is the school swimsuit. If you tie the swimsuit like a bag and stuff it full of gravel, it'd make an effective weapon. Gravel inside the swimsuit? Even the Ace Attorney would be astonished by such a fantastic idea. Oh, fuck you, kind of. Before the killer. Oh, damn it. It's an idea that kills two birds with one stone. To make people think the killer is some pervert, it makes sense for a school swimsuit to be stolen. And if that swimsuit was used to make an improvised weapon, it'd have to be disposed of later. 
How about it, Monokuma? Are you satisfied now? This happiness you feel when the mystery you create is solved. Only producers know this feeling of ecstasy. What? The real important talk begins now. Girl E had someone who can be called an accomplice. That person was actually Girl D. Oh shit! Girl D. You're talking about Mahiru, right? Huh? Mahiru is the accomplice? What is this? What does that mean? The piece of face that became an important clue in the music room murder. Girl D got rid of it. And apparently the reason Girl E committed murder in the first place was to protect Girl D. Girl D was being harassed by the victim. Girl E found out and tried to stop it. And they ended up getting into an argument. And she felt a rush of anger and ended up killing her. Nah, it's a this is premeditated, dog. But she should have had a clear murderous intent. I mean, she choked her out and then bludgeoned her to death. She probably made her unconscious by accident. And from there, she couldn't go back. I I somewhat understand that feeling. You can oh? that's pretty scary. Yeah, a little but bit. Lee was also killed by someone on the fourth day, or the game's last day. I might as well ask just in case. Who do you think killed Girl E? It's Fuyuhiko. Guy F. I see. It should have been Guy F. A scenario where Guy F murders Girl E out of a burning, hellfire desire to avenge his murdered sister. But, but Guy F is what? It's just a story in a video game, isn't it? Nah, son. That's all you can say. If that game is telling the truth, it'd be a huge problem for you. Hey, clear this up for me. Those of you who appeared as characters in the game, do you remember this incident? Because their school memories were like totally stolen. <laughs> like totally, dude. I remember, I already know. It's obvious that guy is the killer. No one would kill a nice person like Mahiru besides a piece of shit menace to society like Fuyuhiko. Girl E and Mahiru were killed by that guy. <sighs> you sure do talk a lot of shit. Well, I'm used to it by now. Yeah, you didn't buy me anymore. Do you have anything to do with that game? Perhaps the two are unrelated. No, Ma the game of my hero's deaths are probably related. In actuality, there's important shared. I can prove it with this. I'm not sure the two events are unrelated. At the very least, the killer has definitely played the game. As proof, Mahiru, who was killed in the beach house, and Girl E, who was killed in the game, were both killed by a blow to the head with a metal bat. There's no way we can ignore that connection. Someone must have wanted to split her head open the exact same way the avenged the first victim. Hey, why don't you confess already? You're the one who killed Mahiru, right? You, you better cut that out right now! There is no way a stupid game could be the motive! You're dumb enough to believe that stupid game and that's why you killed her as revenge! <laughs> you fucking dumbass! Keep making up your mind like that. We're just going to go around in circles. We're going to do that anyway, girl. And it's true, Fuyuhiko may look suspicious, but don't you think that'd be too obvious? What? What are you... I mean, there's a possibility that it's a trap set by the true killer. Err? Trap? What do you mean? The true killer played that game, 
and most likely found out about the relationships between the characters. Isn't that true, Nagito? So that person could be using that knowledge to try to set up Fuyuhiko. Are you saying that a completely different killer murdered Mahiru and used the game motive as their cover? Isn't that what happened, Kyoko? Oh, snap! Huh? Take that, tiny Do you child! Understand? I'm saying you might be the true killer. <laughs> what is this? Like, I can only laugh. What are you even saying, you nasty toilet clogging bitch? <laughs> Yo, she got the runs. Alrighty. Where's the beach? Go that trash can shower. The footprints on the beach. What are you saying, you four eyed troll? Accusing me of killing Mahiru? <laughs> You're so mean! Why do you doubt Hyoko? Do you know where Hyoko was today? She was at the beach house, the scene of the crime. Yeah, I fucking. Damn it. God damn it! What are you saying? Accusing me of? <laughs> Why do you doubt Hyoko? Do you know where Hyoko was today? She was at the beach house, the scene of the crime. But I didn't go to the beach house. No, that's wrong. Okay. I need to calm the fuck down. That first thing put me on tilt. Wait a minute. You should have been at the beach house, Hyoko. Seriously, I told you I didn't! But these footprints in the sand in front of the beach house, aren't they yours? I don't have such ugly footprints! They're probably Mikans based on how ugly they are. Don't decide that based on ugliness! Hmm. They're not Yoko's footprints? That's strange. Well, that's Sterngy. The footprint I collected from your room matches these footprints perfectly. Collected? I never gave you permission to collect that, you nasty pedo! Plus, footprints left in the sand were facing away from the beach house. Which means, when the owner of these footprints went inside the beach house, they used a different entrance. A different entrance? Are you talking about the door facing the road that Mahiru's body was leaning against? Are you saying when that person went inside the beach house, the body hadn't appeared yet? It's appeared like the body just. The door the was like, still look a body. when they went in, and wasn't when they left. Which means something happened between those two events. Isn't that right? Oh, I remember now. I remember when I went to the beach house. Hmm, so you finally decided to confess. I'm pretty sure you guys already know this, but going for walks in the morning is my daily routine. I've never heard of that daily routine before. And that's when I went to the beach house. I went there on my morning walk. I see. If you went there during your morning walk, that doesn't have anything to do with the case at all. Fucking dude. Don't believe her so easily, dumbass. She's obviously lying. Huh? It's a lie? People who call other people liars are usually liars themselves. If you say I'm lying, prove it. Can you even prove that I'm lying? Yeah. Way a bunch of worthless idiots like you guys would be able to do that. Let her. I did go to the beach house. Let her on Mahiru. And only during my morning walk. I didn't go any other time. Then you didn't meet up with Mahiru at the beach house. up with her when I never even saw her? Is this a panel of idiots? <laughs> 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 I 
did go to the beach house. But only during my morning walk! I didn't go any other time! Then you didn't meet up with Mahiru... at the beach house? <laughs> Obviously not! Saying I met up with her when I never even saw her? <sighs> This one picture's got the best of me. Only during your morning walk, huh? Will you still claim that after you take a look at this letter? That letter is the one Mahiro had, right? Well, we've read like five times. I see. So Hiyoko was able to arrange a meeting with Mahiru by exchanging letters with her. Remember now? I totally saw you! Huh? Me and Hajime met up at the diner around 3 p.m. to go to the beach. I saw you about 30 minutes later, so it should have been around 3.30 p.m. See. So if she met Mahiri at 2.30 p.m., killed her, then ran away afterwards, I think 3.30 p.m. is a reasonable time for you to have witnessed here. You're wrong! You're totally wrong! Now that you mention it, you also passed by the diner for you, Hiko. Mm. So you should have seen Hyoko too, right? Right! Yes, that cake. No, I didn't. So I'm getting an idea. It's just a coincidence that I passed by the diner. I wasn't even she paying attention to the She witnessed details. the murder. That's why the fucking gummy was in the closet. She was hiding in the closet. She was sitting there drinking the shit from the fucking I thing. I didn't see anyone during that time. For some reason, that sounds suspicious too. It's the truth. Deal with it. Just leave him alone. It'd be a waste of time to question him any further. Anyway, it'd be a waste of time to interact with him any further. Kazuchi's testimony says it all. You were meeting up with Mahiru at the beach house. Seriously? I don't know! I didn't even write that letter! I, I'm telling the truth! I really, really don't know! <laughs> is she really crying? Or is she faking it? She's probably faking it. We can assume she summoned Mahiru with the intention of killing her all alone. That's why she wrote a letter to let her know where to meet. So the others wouldn't find out. And then you went ahead to the beach house, hid yourself in a specific place, and waited for Mahiru. There's evidence for that too. No place you think, probably that place. Found the gummies in the closet. The place where Hiyoka was hiding. Are you talking about the closet? Yes, that's right. The gummy candy we found on the floor is the evidence. Hiyoka, your favorite candy is gummies. Correct? What's a gummy? I've never eaten something like that before. Good God, child. <laughs> I have captured the true character of this mystery. Kyoko, who summoned Mahiru to the beach house, hid inside the closet like a familiar. When she saw her chance, she attacked her like an evil spirit and left the beach house like a swift wind. But Hiyoko miscalculated that Mahiru's body would be blocking the door at that time. Because of that, she was only able to leave from the beach side door and ended up leaving her footprints. <laughs> we have presented the proof. My four dark devas of destruction didn't even need to come out. <laughs> it's a trap. This is obviously someone's trap. Who's someone? Whose trap is it? It must be that one person. You know, the one 
with a mouse? Maybe? The one with the mask? There was a suspicious mask at the beach house, right? Whoever was wearing that could be the real killer. You're the one who wore that mask and killed Mahiru, right? There's no way I'd wear such a childish mask. Is your brain fried or something? That is right. It cannot be Hyoko. That mask belongs to Sparkling Justice! <laughs> huh? Sparkling what now? <laughs> that mask says it all. Sparkling Justice is hiding on this island! Uh, you're not helping. The legendary serial killer Sparkling Justice is the one who killed Mahiru! Why, you? If you continue to say such foolish things, I shall tear you limb from limb. I kind of just want someone to slap him. Just to see what would happen. Uh, culture shock, you know? So I could be doing like, I don't tell you who didn't from- Just admit it already. You're being unreasonably stubborn. It's all in your head. Oh, why can't you understand? I'm not the killer. It's true that Hyoko is suspicious, but there's something strange. Something doesn't make sense. I can't help but feel like we're being directed by someone. I shall render my verdict upon this mystery's conclusion. Hiyoko is the sinner who killed Mahiru! There's no doubt. You went to the beach house, right? Uh, oh, that is... And weren't you also hiding in the closet? So that's when you dropped the gummy. You waited for your chance to kill Mahiru. And afterward, you fled from the beach house. At the time the door was in the road, it was blocked by the party. So you were forced to flee from the beachside entrance. And that's how you left your footprints! Looks like everyone doubts Yoko. Is that really okay? I shall render my verdict upon this mystery's conclusion. Yoko is the sinner who killed Mahiru! I'm telling you, it's a trap! There's no doubt! You went to the beach house, right? Oh, that is... And weren't you also hiding in the closet? So that's when you dropped the gummy. You waited for your chance to kill Mahiru. And afterward, you fled from the beach house. At the time, the door facing the road was blocked by the body. So you were forced to flee from the beachside entrance. And that's how you left your footprints! <sighs> Damn it! Okay, fuck. I shall render my book. Oh right, that killer's escape route. Oh gummy. Kyoko is the sinner who killed Mahiru! Uh, I'm telling you, it's a trap! There's no doubt! You went to the beach house, right? Uh, oh, that is... And weren't you also hiding in the closet? So that's when you dropped the gummy! No, that's wrong! About that gummy, did Hyoko really drop it? The only one childish enough to eat gummies is that midget over there. Bitch! I'm a grown ass man, I still like I still like gummies. You're a midget too, you know. You're the one who worries about never getting taller. It's true Hyoko likes to eat gummies. 
but she only eats a specific brand. The brand of gummies you eat only have strawberry, melon, grape, and orange flavors, right? That'd be red, green, purple, and orange. Huh? But what about the lemon flavor? The, the gummy at the crime scene is yellow. Okay. So it's obvious to look like it has lemon flavor. Huh? That gummy is yellow? And it's not mine! The ones I eat don't have any yellow gummies! What? That's right. None of the gummy bags in her cottage had any yellow ones. Then we can't assume Ryoko is the one who dropped that yellow gummy. See? Didn't I tell you? It's definitely a trap! <sighs> Damn it! Who would set a trap like this? To get my revenge, I'm gonna bop you on the head with all my might! Hold on, you little bitch! You think you're in the clear just because of a little gummy? Don't be stupid, I'm not done backing you into a corner yet! I'm gonna beat the shit out of you, child! Yoko yet. There's still a huge piece of evidence left. You're talking about the footprints near the beach house, right? It's true, that's an important piece of evidence. And we can thank Mahiru for it. What does that mean? Mahiru used her last ounce of strength and blocked the door her to last the road, thanks to her. We have the evidence we need. What's wrong? I left those footprints during my morning walk! That's very much wrong. Okay. We're not done with Hyoko yet! There's still a huge piece of evidence left! You're talking about the footprints near the beach house, right? It's true, that's an important piece, and we can thank Mahiru! What does that mean? Mahiru used her last ounce of strength and... No, that's wrong! My hero didn't block the door. Her death was instant. Instant death? According to my autopsy, yes, there's no doubt that Mahiru died instantly. If you keep making shit up, I'll fucking kill you! You know this is a murder trial, right, man? Ryuhiko, you cannot do that. Only a coward threatens women. I'm pretty sure her death was instant, too. I mean, her injury was only a single blow. That's why Mahiru isn't the one who blocked the door. Someone else used her body to block it. Is this someone else? The killer, of course. They're the one who blocked the door with Mahiru's body. That's why there were bloody drag marks left on the floor. But why did the killer block the door? Just ask Kyoko. She's the killer after all. <laughs> you are Seriously, dead set on this, kid. Not true. Let's assume Kyoko is the killer. Wouldn't that mean she's also the one who dragged the body? If she handled the body that bloody, I think her clothes and skin would have been stained with blood. Water bottles. See? I told you I wasn't the killer. Yay! With this, my innocence has been proven. No, he, he, he he's still gonna fucking mur fucking like bone her out to kill you. We haven't decided that yet. Hey, Fuyuhiko, why do you keep insisting that Hyoko is the killer? Shut up! I'm telling you, she's the killer! That little bitch is definitely the killer! Okay, let's see if I remember how to do this. If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru, 
and blocked the door with her body. Hyoko is the only killer I can think of. If Hyoko moved the body, then she should be covered in blood. So what, dumbass? There's a shower room inside the bed. After she moved the body, she says the fact that Hyoko was at the beach can be proven by the footprints and did you get all that, you bastard? Fuck. I fucked up. So what, dumbass? There's a shower room inside the beach house. After she moved the body, she just washed it off in the shower. Allow me to cut through those words. Ooh, okay. Now, washing it off in the shower is impossible because the shower in the beach house was out of order. Out of order? I'm terribly sorry. I haven't had any time to actually repair it. Then... Maybe she took her clothes off to move the body, <laughs> and when she was done, she put them back on! <laughs> Are you saying I did something bad for Birded? Yeah, took her clothes off to put me in the murder? That should be impossible! Her clothes take two people to put on! Can't get dressed by herself? I see! Okay. Listen to me, Fuyuhiko. Hyoko mentioned this before. Which means, Hyoko can't change by herself. It's impossible for her to put on and take off her clothes. What? Oh yeah, she couldn't even tie her sash on her own. That's why she couldn't take a bath and smell bad. Mouth? It only smelled a little. Oh, wasn't changing inside the beach house prohibited in the first place? Yes, if you broke the rules, I'm pretty sure Monokuma wouldn't have kept quiet. Damn right! I'm such a stickler for the rules that even Safari Park Rangers want nothing to do with me! The fuck does that even mean, dude? If she didn't change her clothes, then what did Hyoko do with the blood that got on her? Like I've been saying, the blood wasn't on me in the first place, because I never touched Mahiro's body! Hey, if you think about it the other way around, does that mean whoever was covered in blood is suspicious? Because <laughs> if so, <laughs> I believe Akane was soaked with blood when we all met up to go to the beach. Didn't I tell you that was because I got beat up by Coach Nekomaru? I can attest to that. If I hadn't gotten that rough with her, she never would have backed out. Good God, man. Got me of all people. Gotta be careful what you're saying, Nekomaru. You're gonna get me too. All right. I'll bend your body in half so you're stuck in a bowing position for the rest of your life. That actually sounds pretty cool. The hell it does. Hey, more importantly, I'm okay now, right? It's okay that I'm not the killer? No, it's not okay you're not the killer. Yeah. Fuck you. Seems like it. See? I already told you. There's no way I'd kill Mahiru. Because Mahiru taught me how to wear a kimono, and she was very, very kind. There's no way I would kill a nice person like her. Why wouldn't you believe me earlier? You guys are stupid! Stupid, stupid, stupid! Motherfucker, I helped! Please don't cry. Everything is fine now, right? Shut the hell up, pig bar! I hope you get a hangnail and die! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sorry for being pig bar! More importantly, Fuhika's behavior earlier was definitely strange. Getting so worked up at accusing Kyoko of being suspicious. Could it be? Does he actually have something else in mind? Hey, Hyoko. Now that our suspicions have been addressed, can you tell us the truth? Huh? Even though you're not the killer, you still went to the beach house, right? Like I said, it was a trap. 
Yeah, I got that already. So, can you give us the details about that trap? I would like to know too. It might lead to some kind of clue. Fine. You want me to talk, huh? Um, earlier this morning, Mahiru was the one who came up to me. She asked if we could meet up later. Huh? But didn't you say earlier... Damn it! So that was a lie? Cuz, I thought it'd be doubted if I admitted it. So, I figured it was better not to say anything. So, what was your answer to Mahiru's invitation? I told her it was fine. I mean, I didn't have a reason to say no. Unlike everyone else here, Mahiru was someone I wasn't embarrassed to be seen with. You always have to say something snide. At the time, we were supposed to meet around 2 p.m., but... Around noon, there was a letter inside my mailbox. A letter? Oh. Yeah, this one. Oh, snap. I was going to tell you the person, but I couldn't find it, but it's the mailbox. Oh, we discussed earlier that if we can't change the place. Why would you go to the beach house in the second island? Time is still the same at 2 p.m. It seems like someone who's want, who wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. It'll be bad if they started suspecting us for no reason. My hero Koizumi. Oh shit. Ranku Apple. Oh, yeah, that's... Sophie Hika wrote those. I saw this letter and went to the beach house at that time. I can prove it with this. This letter... Doesn't it look like its contents are different from the letter Mahiro had? I just finished the place. What is this? Mahiro's letter said to meet at 2:30 p.m., but in Yoko's letter, just his blah 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 blah. Whoa! Meeting times are off. It's also strange that both letters wanted to change the meeting spot to the beach house. It would be plausible if one of them said. It. But for both letters to say the same thing? Hiyoko, since you wrote it, what do you think? Like I said, I never wrote the letter. How many times do I have to tell you? Apparently a few more. Safe to say the letter was forged by the killer, but... Which letter did the killer forge? Both! I see. The killer must have forged both letters. Killer forged them so they could manipulate their actions. Yeah, that's how we should think about it. That seems very likely. In fact, if you compare both letters, the pixel exactly confirmed. the same. Just as I assume, the handwriting is the same. The content of the letters matches too. Like this part, I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. This part, it seems like on this part, the, the, the killer forged both of those letters. In doing so, they were able to control Hiyoko and Mahiru to do their bidding, like a netherworld puppeteer. So they completely tricked me, and then Mahiru's killer! <laughs> How mean! Give me back Mahiru! Really? This is really terrible. I've offered to help so many times. But the killer this time didn't discuss their plan with me at all. Oh, Muffin. It's all my fault. I'm so ashamed of being unreliable. Here we go. <laughs> Stuff on me more. <laughs> Once we let our guard down, this happens. Candle axe into my ass, call me a piece of shit. <laughs> punch him to death later. <laughs> Lightly so punch him to death. The letter said, you went to the beach house at 2 p.m., right, Hiyoko? What's most important is what happened afterward. 
what on earth happened there. <laughs> I fell asleep! Why'd you fall asleep? It's not like I wanted to. I think I was forced to get a whiff of some kind of medicine or something. <gasps> medicine? Th that medicine... Could it be? Did they get it from the drugstore? I thought that place seemed unsafe. They even have prescription medicines laying out in the open. If you were aware of that from the start, you should have done something about it. <laughs> I'm sorry. When I woke up, I was inside a small closet. And when I rushed out, I... I saw Mahiro's body. And that's why you ran out of the beach house in such a panic. I, I was scared. I was really, really scared. Really scared that I couldn't help, but... <laughs> the killer probably planned to frame Hyoko from the start. And for that reason, they summoned Hyoko before Mahiru, put her to sleep, and shoved her inside the closet. So their reason for blocking the door with Mahiru's body was to make Hiyoko leave her footprints as evidence. Everything was done to frame Hiyoko as the killer. <laughs> That's horrible! I didn't do anything wrong, and I was framed by Mahiru's killer! <laughs> Hiyoko, please do not cry. We believe you. Is it really okay to believe her so easily? She might be faking those tears, you know. Bitch! This'll never end if you keep being so suspicious. Isn't that what a class trial is all about? The only way to survive is to be suspicious. This is where we go to thoroughly doubt each other. So if you believe in each other so easily, then there's definitely something wrong with you. You're wrong, Fuyuhiko. We aren't supposed to doubt each other here. We're supposed to work together. The class trial is where we cooperate with each other, work hard, and aim for victory. The killer and everyone else. Two hopes attempting to grasp the one true hope. Two hopes clashing with each other is poetry in motion. That is what a class trial should be. Seriously, okay, don't which fucking side are you on? don't fucking nut in your stand, I'm dude. On the side of the absolute hope that can overcome any despair. And I believe that absolute hope exists at the point where two hopes clash. Your stance is neither white nor black, but gray. And you do not yearn for your life, or even for victory. Jeez, I wish he'd just side with the enemy already so I can believe what he's saying! Let's stop. Believing every little thing Nagito says is a waste of time. Ah! Suck it. Yeah, we need to figure out who Mahiru's killer is. There should be a new clue contained in what Hyoko has told us. So? Let us believe Yoko's words and discuss it once again with everyone. Yep, yep. The debate proceeds when you assume you can believe each other. Good job. That's the right way. That's the splendid power of teamwork. Hey, what do you think of that, Monokuma? I'm not going to let you have the outcome you want. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Whoa, whoa. He's sleeping! Dumbasses. You bastards don't know anything. If you're stupid enough to trust each other, the only thing waiting for you is the bitter truth. The bitter truth. That may be true, but... Even so, we can't just stand around here all day. Even if what lies ahead is a cruel ending, the only thing we can do is move forward. Because unless we reveal who among us is Mahiru's true killer, there's no way we'll survive. Whew. 
Ooh, fuck. Well now. Oh no, 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 It won't be so much despair, just disappointment. No. It's, it's, yeah, fucking innovation. Whatever, man. Correct. You say Nanu in German when you're surprised. Um. <laughs> what? Fucking Nanu, I guess. Let's get back to the real shit. Oh, mama me! And my heart is throbbing like crazy right now. To think that the person who killed the wonderful Mahi Ru me is in this room. Impossible! Impossible! That's so impossible! There's no way I can believe that. Oh, I can't do anything. How annoying! But I'm just gonna believe in everyone. That's the least I can do. Everyone do your best. Don't lose to yourselves. And don't forget to save regularly. Oh, I do. Well, now that we've decided to believe Hyoko, now what? If the killer was luring Hyoko into a trap, then something that was used there might be a clue. Do you mean the letter? No, it was probably the gummy. Huh? Candy can be a clue? Hey, I know, it's a versatile food. When you woke up, was the gummy already there? Bitch, I don't know. Uh, now that you mention it, I feel like it wasn't. Just as I thought. Just as you thought? If the killer planted evidence while Hyoko was there, she would have thrown it away if she found it. Which means... The gummy was placed inside the closet after Hyoko fled from the beach house? The killer returned to the scene of the crime? After I left? They wouldn't have to do something that troublesome as long as they hid somewhere within the beach house. That's impossible! There's nowhere to hide! Shower room? I even glanced inside the shower room as I was running away. Okay. But there was nobody there. Very good. Then, does that mean the killer came back? Hmm. I wonder. At any rate, the solution to that problem is connected to what really happened. That's what I think. I want to play a new game. Is that what you? Is that what you're thinking? Not really. If so, we prepared the perfect product for you. You'll dive into your own brain and logically discern the mysterious answer from several questions. It's called Logic Dive. During the Logic Dive, you'll create a you'll control version of yourself, created as a brain in your brain. Your task is to reach the goal, the final destination of the synapse course. You can move sideways and the left stick and accelerate with the RB button. Press LB to break, and the R. The right trigger to trigger to gasp. Left trigger to break. What are we doing? There, obstacles you'll encounter as you progress through the course. Just make sure you're familiar with these controls so you can reach the goal. On your journey, you'll take damage every time you fall into a gap or bump into walls. Also, upon reaching a certain point, there'll be a branch in questions in the course. The answer is split into different paths, so please proceed down the path of the answer you think is correct. Ranging questions will appear several times in one course. Please be careful. I highly recommend that you make good use of the break. It's my middle some advice to you. You press the star button during a logic drive, you can review the controls. Well then, good luck and have fun. She's right. This might be a very important problem. If the killer tampered with the evidence after Kyoko ran away from the beach house. 
Then when did the killer arrive and depart from the beach house? Think. If I just focus and think about it, I'm sure I'll be able to find the answer. All right, I'm gonna do it. Think, think. Alternate control scheme, just as a thing. Uh, a is gas, B is brake, and Y is jump. He arrived before Kyoko arrived. Killed the beach house before she left. Dicks. So after Kyoko left. So, uh, when the killer was hiding, where was the killer hiding while Kyoko was unconscious? The beach. Dicks! She was hiding in the beach house. Fuck. Might have been hiding. You spent all that time thinking just to say something so pointless. How disappointing. I'll see you helping. Didn't I just say there was nowhere to hide? Do I have to explain it in another language so you can understand? Her personality got a hell of a lot more forceful once she stopped being a suspect. Did he hide in the fucking fridge? No, it should have been a place for them to hide. Place you didn't look, Yoko. Oh, what are you saying? Stop being annoying, or I'm gonna make a kind bop you on the head and shut you up for good. I really don't want that to happen to me. I need to answer by any means. Okay. Fucking. I don't know the fridge. Crap. Here. The killer was probably hiding in the closet. The closet? That's where I was locked up. After you woke up, you said you rushed out of there, right? And you probably didn't look inside the closet very carefully. <laughs> but could two people even hide in such a small place? And without Kyoko knowing? She's a very tiny lady. That's why the killer makes sure to arrange a hiding place. The killer made sure to arrange a hiding place in advance. I can only think of one place. That's, that's right. The place where the killer was hiding inside the closet was...
What about the surfboard case in the closet? I'm pretty sure they could have hidden in there. Huh? Inside the surfboard case? But the shelf it was on. It was pretty messy, don't you think? Two surfboards were stacked on the top shelf. And there were surfboards that weren't even in a case. The killer probably did that on purpose to secure a hiding place. Because we haven't been on this island that long, so the closet shouldn't have been that messy, I think. Then, the killer was close to me during that time? Yeah, they were quietly holding their breath and hiding very close to you. <laughs> Don't. It's kind of oh. like, in for a penny, in for a pound. Wait for her to find the body, then we leave. It's always darkest under the lighthouse. <laughs> I shouldn't say things I don't understand, like, so to speak. Anyway, the killer hid silently, and after making sure Hyoko left, they finally left the surfboard case. I agree with that as well. Seriously, nobody asked what you think. There's no way the killer would leave Hyoko by herself if they were trying to frame her. If Hyoko was left alone and ruined the evidence the killer had planted, it would have messed up their plan. Instead, it makes more sense to think that the killer was hiding in the beach house, watching Hyoko. Just sitting there just like... <laughs> If you don't want to friggin' get punched, just stand still and let me punch ya! <laughs> oh, you shut up. Then, grit your teeth. Sorry, Akane. It's not like that. Hey, Monokuma. Can I ask you about something that seems strange to me? I believe Prince Shotoku was from the future. A man from the future is always directing the flow of history. Wait. I'll listen to your story about men from the future some other time. As I recall, the body discovery announcement is made when three or more people discover a body, right? Is the killer also included among those three or more people? Yeah, that's true, but, uh, well, something like that is basically what it's supposed to be. You don't sound very articulate. You're pretty annoying for noticing something like that! I know it sounds like an excuse, but the body discovery announcement isn't supposed to be used for deduction. Well, suck it. It's intended to create a fair trial. It's supposed to let everyone know a body has been found. So you're saying it's unfortunate that I used it for deduction? I understand your excuse, but... Depending on who actually found the body, it's possible that your three or more people rule could be deadly. <sighs> well, as long as I keep things ambiguous, I can respond to situations with some flexibility. Flexibility, huh? So what about this time? Is it three people including the killer or not? That's kind of a- Please, fine, fine! You want me to say it? It doesn't include the killer this time, okay? All done. Which means three people other than the killer discovered Mahiru's body. What's wrong with that? Nothing. I just thought it was somewhat strange. More importantly, let's get back to our original topic. And before we do that, we're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back. We're we'll back in a second, everybody. I'm back. Sorry about that. You're the one who went on a tangent. Um, we were just saying the killer was hiding in the surfboard case, right? And after Hyoko ran away, the killer got to enjoy the simple life of destroying evidence. However, before we proceed any further, there's something we have to make clear. The killer blocked the roadside door with Mahiru's body before Hyoko ran away. But what about the blood? Now that you mention it, that mystery hasn't been solved yet. It's going to be it's all trash right. can. 
you guys have come this far, I'm sure you can discover that answer too. Now, let's start the argument, shall we? Really, yeah, shall I explain the final feature of non-stop debate? I mean, yeah. From this point forward, you'll be able to use... You'll now be able to use the truth flashback. If you hold down the button, the shape of the reticle will change. Hold down the Y button, I guess. If you aim at the remark weak point and keep it in there, keep it in the position, you'll be able to memorize it. Okay, yeah, this thing. The memorized phrase can only be fired once as a single truth bullet. If you shoot or change the different truth bullet, okay. You flash my fish a bit as you want. I flash my Okay, so you can only use it to refute. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. They didn't have to use the shower. Oh, what about the wetsuits in the closet? Maybe they wore one when they moved the body. If they used something other than the shower... What did they do with the bloody wetsuit? They cut it up and... Oof. As someone who flushes their shit every morning, I can declare it would definitely clog the toilet. Maybe it's the other way around. Perhaps someone other than the killer moved the body. Maybe they were able to wash it off. Where's that person? Might be the other person. Contradiction. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. No, that's wrong. Didn't make the first one easy. I look forward to feeling that in the future. They just needed to wash off the blood. They didn't necessarily have to use the shower. They could have just as easily used something else. Something other than the shower. <laughs> like what? How would they get water if they wasn't from a shower? A sink. Drinks inside the refrigerator. Couldn't the killer have used those to wash off the blood? I've seen through it. <laughs> oh, good. In theory, that's impossible. Why? Try to remember the refrigerator carefully, and then you will understand. That there's no possible way the drinks in the refrigerator were used. Alright, what blades I got? Trash can. It's true there were drinks. In the beach house with however, try one bottle who wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. Damn it. It's true there were drinks in the beach house for however. Try pick one bottle who wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. I can't back down! Oh, fuck. We can't assume they used just one drink. They could have used a bunch of them to wash it off. <laughs> Didn't I say it was impossible? There were no water bottles in the refrigerator. Allow me to cut through those words. Yeah, suck it. Break it. There were water bottles inside the refrigerator. How many times do I have to tell you? There were no water bottles in there whatsoever. That was after the incident, right? But before the incident, there were water bottles in the fridge. And the killer took all of those water bottles and used them to wash the blood off their body. So you're saying the water bottles were gone? Because they were all used? That's a logical fallacy. It's not a fallacy. There should have been evidence inside the trash can. Evidence like a lot of thrown away plastic water bottles. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. These bottles look like they may have been filled with water. 
<laughs> well, now that you mention it, when I went to the beach house a few days ago, I feel like I drank one of those plastic water bottles. Huh? You should have said so sooner. Then, the plastic water bottles were used in place of a shower. Dousing your body with lots of water bottles is such a simple and easy to understand explanation. That's why you like it. Hold on a sec. Now that I think about it, if they soak their entire body with a bunch of plastic water bottles, if they did that, that person would be... It seems you've realized who the killer is. Yeah? See? Just as I thought. Hold on. You... You know who the killer is? <laughs> is that true? Let me ask. Who might that be? If the killer used plastic water bottles to wash off the blood that splattered onto them, that that killer, Mahiru's killer, must be that person. Okay, fuck. Um. No, that's not it. Fuck. Damn it. Okay, the. Fuck! God, shit, ass. Okay, fucking who? The goddamn shit. We're we'll in a bathing suit. Crap. Mm. Okay, fucking Pecco. You're the only one. This is what happens when you don't fucking play a game for like fucking five months. Hey, what are you being quiet for? They're accusing you of being the killer. Then I should ask you this. Why do you believe I'm the killer? I remember when we were all meeting up to go to the beach. Your appearance when we came to the diner. did wash the blood off with water bottles. They'd have to drench their entire body. But there were no towels in the beach house, and it would have taken a while for the water to fully air dry. So you said you went swimming so you'd have a cover story. Don't just stay silent, say something! Hold on, you bastard! You saw her at the diner! You never saw her near the beach house, right? What? So maybe she really was swimming! Good God, dude. No one even saw her swimming. No. I saw her. Huh? I, after I ran into you bastards at the diner, I crossed paths with her on my way home. Crossed paths with her the way? So, oh, so there's no doubt. She would have arrived at the diner from the opposite direction of the beach house. Hold on. That's strange. Didn't you just say this earlier? <laughs> Nerd. Fucking liar. You piece of shit. You told me you didn't see anyone. Don't try to tell me you forgot about that. Contradictions, motherfucker. Not so fast. It's too soon to decide she's a killer. We haven't established how the killer was able to leave the beach house. Now that you mention it, you tight. The roadside door was blocked. And if it's impossible to leave from the beachside without leaving footprints, then how the fuck did the killer escape? 
Um, why are you all fired up for you, Eco? You're not the suspect. Echo is. She makes his dick hard. Who cares about that? Answer me! If you have an explanation, then show me what you got! We might have an answer. Fuck. <laughs> Do you really? This mystery seems unsolved. Yes, it was the yeah. perfect crime. If is the killer, then I might just have an answer to that mystery. Let's see. Then let's hear this alleged method of escaping the beach house. First, let's establish how the killer escaped. Killer escape route. I might know what it is. In fact, the only possible thing I can think of is the... Nope, fuck. Damn it! Yeah, so it's the fucking small the small window in the shower room. I see. If the roadside and beachside doors aren't an option, the only other thing I can think of is What I was thinking was she walked out of the beach walked out of the fucking beach thing. Well with the beachside door. Really and then fucking like that small window in like, the shower. Like what was it at? Sweeped up the got sweeped up the goddamn Don't footprints. You know how high that window is? There's no way Peko could have reached it. But, but what if, for instance, she got help from someone? She might have reached it by riding someone's shoulders, but then that person would have been left behind. Is it possible an object was used? A rope, for instance? And what happened to the rope after they used it? And don't say something stupid like they threw it outside. Of course not. That would violate the school trip rule. Littering is prohibited. Even if it might be evidence, rules are still rules. You see? There's no way they'd be able to escape from that window. Let's carry around a fucking sword. No, they just have to use an object. Chiaki, don't fall asleep on us. We just said they couldn't use an object. You did? I thought you were saying they couldn't dispose of an object. I see. You don't have to throw it away if you can just hide it somewhere on your body. Huh? Pekka was wearing a swimsuit, remember? Where would she even hide an object? Her fucking sword. And if you say she hid it in her special place, I'll stab you in yours! No! Please don't be violent! Even if the killer used an object to escape out the window, they wouldn't have been able to get rid of it. So the only thing I think of is that the killer must have hit it somewhere. If that's the case... Focus the thing. Fuck. One of these again. Oh, hey. Just fucking go. Oh, Hangman's Gambit. Oh, bamboo sword.
on O's. Bamboo sword. Peko, bring blast. Carry that bamboo sword on your back at all times, right? If I recall correctly, you had it then too. Despite the fact that you had a swimsuit on, you were still wearing your bamboo sword. Are you saying she used that bamboo sword to escape through the window? Yeah. Heko used that bamboo sword as a step stool and escaped out the window. A sword as a step stool? You see? I knew it! I knew it was a ninja! Didn't I tell you? <laughs> a ninja could have climbed that easily. <laughs> God damn it. know a climbing trick where they lean their sword against a wall and use the handguard as a step stool. Whoa! Just like a Japanese ninja! Just like one of my Japanese so animes! Young. Ninjas only exist in Japan. Well, that's Chris Farley, motherfucker. It is a bamboo sword, but I'm sure a slender girl like Peko could easily use it to climb. Well, Peko, do you have anything to say? Alright, so now the time has come for once again for the panic talk action. Let's talk a little bit about Fever Time and Nega Time. From this point on, you'll be able to use Fever Time by pressing the right bumper during PTA. When Fever Time is active, the temple will be pushed to the max! But that's not all! You won't miss during Fever Time either! By pressing the B button when it's applicable, you can destroy your opponent's verbal cells. But only until your focus gauge runs out, so make sure you use you make the best off use of your time. Of course, there will not be. be don't be one but that. Next time, fun to use. If you're on the activation, next time your tempo marker will disappear, making it quite difficult to press the button in rhythm. So in that case, please time the rhythm not with your yeah eyes, but with your ears and with your passionate heart. If you can, if you can't clear it, you can always change the difficulty settings. I'm not gonna tell them that they will have to redo the next trial for the chapter if they do that. <laughs> well then, good luck and have fun. Hold on a sec, you bastard. You're saying she used her sword as a step stool and went out the fucking window? Then what about the sword? It would have been left in the shower room and she wouldn't have been able to recover it, dumbass. Who are you, Hiko? Why do you even care? Shut up! Just shut the fuck up and answer me! If you have an answer, then fucking give it to me! If she used the bamboo sword as a step stool, it would have been left behind! Fihiko, why? Why are you... Got proof, you bastard! That's obviously impossible! Shut, shut up! Shut up! Don't fuck with me! Got proof, you bastard! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't fuck with me! Got proof, you bastard! That's obviously impossible! Bastard! Got proof, you bastard! I'll sell your fucking organs! You're pissing me off! You're pissing me off! Bastard! Shut, shut up! Shut up! Got proof, you bastard! That's obviously impossible! Shut, shut up! Shut up! Don't fuck with me! If she used the bamboo sword as a step stool, it would have been left behind! This is the end! Bamboo sword bag! Suck it, nerd! I fucking hate you! 
used her bamboo sword as a step stone. She could have recovered it with her sword back. When she leaned her sword against the wall to use as a step stone, she tied her sword back to it. And after she climbed up to the window, as long as she hauled the bag up toward her, she would have been able to recover her bamboo sword. Suck it! I see. Not just the bamboo sword, but even the sword bag, too. She used them both to escape. Hakane said she's like a ninja, but it's nothing as silly as that. Simply put, only Pekko could have performed this feat. An escape plan befitting of the ultimate swordswoman. Even so, how disappointing. If you'd only let me work with you, it would have been an even greater plan. Put your dick back in your pants, dude. You just back off! Making assumptions. You don't have any proof. I won't accept this unless there's proof. Who gives Got a shit? You bastard. Majority vote. Pecco. It's fine. Huh? I said it's fine. Saying anything more would just be an exercise in futility. She admitted it just now, right? She admitted, she admitted she's Mahiru's killer, right? But is this right? Even though Fukuhiko was the one arguing with us, Pekko just admitted it so freely. Among flowers, the cherry blossom. Among men, the samurai. I commend your decisiveness. Very well. If you admit it, this ends now. Let's cast our votes. Agree. Hurry up and vote. Hold on. Let me confirm one thing first. Can it wait until after the voting? No! This is important, and it relates to the voting. It's about Pekko's motive. My motive? In the end, you had no connection to the events depicted in Twilight Syndrome murder case, right? Then, why did you kill Mahiru? Hmm. So it's about that. Let's see. If I must answer that question, I must say it was for the sake of justice. Yeah. Justice? In order to protect the justice of this world. Ah, fuck. She's. I do not sully my hands to satisfy personal grudges. There is only one reason I kill for yep. the sake of protecting justice. That ah, fuck. What do you say? Justice is what makes humans human. It's a virtue that human beings should be proud of. Justice is the eternal son. Ah, uh, son is gonna fucking bust. Moon, the protective father and the smiling mother. Uh, hello! Earth to Pekko! If justice ever disappeared from this world, the world would immediately freeze. And people's smiles would vanish. I will not allow that. It's it's fine. Just stop it. Justice must always be there to guide us, to shine bright above our heads. I'm telling you to stop it. So I must fight. I must continue to fight to protect justice. This is. Could she be? As the light of justice shines upon my mask, <laughs> I expose the heart of malevolent <laughs> evil. Oh my god. Justice complete! The center of justice that is pierced by justice. The lead Whoa. star of justice that shines in the night sky. That god damn it, Dongan Rumpa. Sparkling justice! You then, fucking nerds! Execute justice! What? What the fuck? <laughs> what are you doing? I am 
sparkling justice. In the name of sparkling, shining justice, I have come to deliver justice. What's going on? What's this? Chill. That's a weed, friends. A Pecco finally snapped. Everyone, please be careful. Sparkling Justice is a serial killer who claims to be an ally of justice. Clad in justice is going to lose all meaning. She is a serial killer who exclusively targets other criminals. She is supposed to be... But... Huh? Ally of justice? So that's why you're wearing a mask. This mask is the dividing line. Just like various items. The sun is revered because it lies just beyond your grasp. Justice should also be the same. I, I don't get it, but but this is becoming really crazy. Ain't yeah, wrong, man. What? What the fuck is this? Heck, it was the killer. Why is it turning out like this? This is turning out to be a surprising turn of events. Yeah, no shit. Fuck you, dude. Hey. Hey. Now's not the time for you to be sleeping. Take like you bitch ass up, bear. It's a killer. Hey. Hey. This again? <laughs> Sleep pocket? <laughs> so what's your answer to my previous question? Why did you kill Mahiru? This world must always be bathed in the light of justice. I must not allow even one shadow. Evil must be eliminated immediately. No matter what, I must not overlook evil. Evil? Are you saying Mahiru is... If you knew about that incident, then you must have played the game. Am I right? And because of that, I was able to find the killer's accomplice hiding on this island like a sewer rat. Then, the reason you killed Mahiru was... To protect justice, of course. In order to protect justice, I have become its merciless sword. And executed justice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy crap! She's such a stereotypical psychopath! <laughs> She's so gross! Hecko, is this your true identity? My true identity? <laughs> I have already forgotten who I am. It just shows my determination. My determination to protect by throwing away what's most important. I'm willing to become anybody to shower this world with justice. <laughs> oh, I can't Ooh. stand this anymore. Let's just end this farce already. That's a bit much. He's right. This we need to end this already. The killer. In the end, there's no mistake that it was Pekko all along. Let's go over this incident one more time and then let's end this. Close an argument. All right, let's go. Oh, right, yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so let's start again. Fucking getting there. Okay. Grab the water bottles. Here's everything oh. that happened in this case. Okay then. Fuck with there a bit, but yeah, whatever. This morning, when my hero spoke to Hyoka. My hero most likely played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case, the video game provided to us as the motive. She probably wanted to discuss it with someone else who also appeared in the game as a character. Hyoko accepted Mahiru's invitation, and they promised to have a more detailed <coughs> conversation about Excuse it me. later. However, someone else overheard their exchange. The killer. The killer eavesdropped on their conversation and used their promise to devise a specific murder plan. By preparing a specific item, they plan to manipulate the two's actions. That item was the letters. They sent fake letters to both Mahiru and Hyoka. The letter Mahiru received told her to come to the beach house at 2.30 p.m. I really forgot how this fucking game works. And the letter Hyoko received told her to come to the beach house at exactly 2 p.m. By providing different times, the killer was able to lure them to the beach house separately. Hyoko totally trusted that letter, showed up at the beach house at 2 p.m., just like it said. and was drugged into unconsciousness by the killer lying in wait. After putting Hyoko to sleep, the killer immediately hid her inside the closet. That's a really weird, like, ominous drum hit on Oh. They're not all this. Um. At 2.30 p.m., Mahiru arrived at the beach house. She was completely unaware that she'd been targeted for murder. Approaching her from behind, the killer struck the defenseless Mahiru with a specific weapon. The metal bat that was left at the scene of the crime. I'm not gonna lie, kinda going into this, my initial thought was that this was going to be similar to like the first case in uh in Danganronpa 1. Was brought down onto the back of Mahiru's head, where, where Mahiru she took her last breath. Where Mahiru was like going to kill somebody, to went to go speak it up, but then they fucking pushed Mahiru her back and she instantly. fucking slammed her head so against the fucking doorknob. With that, the killer achieved their goal of killing Mahiru and began to tamper with the crime scene. They dragged Mahiru's body so that it blocked the door leading to the road. Also, the mask found at the scene of the crime was something the killer personally left. 
not really sure why. My guess is it's something similar to a calling card. That's how the crime scene we discovered was created. However, by moving Mahiru's body, the killer got blood splatter on them. Plus, the shower room had no water because it was out of order, so they couldn't wash it off. But the killer expected something like that to happen. Instead of the shower, the killer used something else to wash the blood off their body. They used plastic water bottles that were inside the beach house refrigerator. We can assume they carried the bottles to the shower room before the sequence of events had happened. In place of showering, they washed the blood off their body with water bottles instead. However, they had no choice but to dispose of the empty bottles in the beach house's trash can. Littering is against the rules, and it would have taken too much time to throw them away somewhere else. After the killer washed off the blood, they hid in a specific spot inside the closet Kyoko was in. The killer hid inside the surfboard case that they had already emptied before him. After some time had passed, the sleeping drug used on Hyoko wore off and she woke up. I can imagine how badly Hyoko must have panicked when she came out of the closet. I mean, she made plans to see Mayu, who lay dead right in front of her. From the shock and panic of being considered a murder suspect. I'll see how the death of her only friend here. From the beach house. Because of that, she left footprints in the sand. Everything was a trap set by the killer to frame her. After Hyoko left, the killer finally came out of the surfboard case and placed a gummy that they brought with them to shift our suspicion toward Hyoko. Ironically, placing that gummy is what helped clear our suspicion <coughs> toward Hyoko. Ugh. Excuse me, again. Finally, the killer began preparing to escape from the beach house. They couldn't risk leaving their footprints in the sand, so they escaped the beach house using a different route. The small window in the shower room. However, that window is rather high up and can't be reached easily, which is why the killer used... the bamboo sword they always carry with them. The killer took the bamboo sword out of its bag, tied the bag to the sword's handle, and used the sword as a step stool to reach the small window while holding the sword bag in their hand. I still don't seem right. Able to reach the window, all they had to do was pull the bag to retrieve the sword. And so the killer left the beach house and appeared before us as if nothing had happened. But their wet hair and swimsuit didn't dry right away. There also weren't any towels at the beach house. So when the killer met up with us, they said they had been swimming for a while as an excuse. So how about it? This is the truth behind the incident you caused. Isn't that right, Heko Pekoyama? Yay. I see. I did it. She's like totally cool with it. I haven't done anything to be ashamed of. What are you saying? You killed Mahiru. Wrong. I punished evil in the name of justice. That's no reason to condemn me. That is 100%. Hurry up and vote so we can freaking kill this weird, crazy bitch! There's no way.
You can kill me. Justice can never be killed. You should all know that as well. What are you saying? To protect what's most important to you, you must be prepared to throw away something equally important. Understand? Then I shall be direct. Justice must carry on in order what are you sort of mask to, to someone and hope it like fucking like me melts their face and infects them. You all must give up your lives. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> Even she's just like fucking money in the back, just like what? Justice. If I fall, who will combat the evils of this world? Now. Follow your hearts of justice that reside within you all, and save my life to protect justice. Hurry and carry on justice. Give me a break. Who's gonna uh. die for you? If we let Peko go, we're all gonna get killed. <laughs> for the sake of grand justice, a few sacrifices are unavoidable. <laughs> sacrifices? <laughs> Don't worry. The justice that you give your life to protect will never go to waste. I can't stand her anymore. I must the vote already and execute her. Um, however, before we do that... Monokuma, the vote! Hurry up and let us vote already! I'm awake! Ah, we finally woke up! I heard your story! Well, I wasn't listening, but who cares? Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? <laughs> Such heart-pounding excitement! I wonder if, like, for all those things, like these catchphrases and stuff, they just record one version of it. I was like, all right, we got it. Or if they actually do record like multiple versions for each and for, for each thing, it's like all right. So this is the first one for a uh, case for a uh, trial one, and action. Pardon me. Can we please have a little more time? Oh shit. That's new. Um. Pardon me. Can we have a little bit more time? Please let us continue our discussion. Continue our discussion. But isn't the voting over? Yes, but I cannot help but feel strange. Something about this is definitely strange. Soup strange. Strange? What do you mean? There's no doubt that Peko is the killer. That is true. However, as a serial killer enthusiast, you're wondering if Peko is really sparkling justice. Am I right? <laughs> Hey, Miss Sonia isn't a serial killer enthusiast. She just has a little more passion about them than most. That makes her an enthusiast. Honestly, it felt strange to me too. I mean, there's a distinct difference between what we know about sparkling justice and Peko, right? You know, Sonia describes sparkling justice like this. Justice complete! The center of justice that is pierced by justice! The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky! That would be me! Sparkling justice! Oh right, yeah, they did it wrong. Yeah, Pecker did the fucking, like, just a complete thing at the end. I see. So that's what it was. Hang on. Oh, actually, nationality. I see. According to what Sonia said, 
The article was written in their native language, so I tried to translate it. If she had a translator, that means it wasn't written in English, right? Because yes, we are all American students. Yes, the magazine I read was written in Spanish. So, Sparkling Justice's catchphrase was no doubt written in Spanish as well. Which means the journalist and Sparkling Justice are both... From Spain? What? All this time, I completely misunderstood. When I first heard about those serial killers, Genocide Jack and Sparkling Justice, I just assumed both serial killers were from the same country. But that wasn't the case. If so... Heko, you're not Sparkling Justice. There's no way that's possible. Or, you insist that you're Sparkling Justice. Can you try saying that catchphrase in Spanish? Will you be able to do that? Oh god, please don't attempt it. It appears that the time has come for this mask to come off. However, that's perfectly fine. It's no longer necessary. And even if you find out now, it's too late for you all to do anything about it. My duty has already been finished. My duty as a tool has already been completed in full. Did she fucking work for the Kuzaryu family? Huh? Looks like she's back to normal? That mask has fulfilled its purpose, just as I have. But what do you mean? Fulfilled its purpose too late? What are you getting at? Now that you've already cast your votes, is what it means. Hey, be clearer! We're asking you what your purpose was! I have no purpose. I am just a mere tool. T tool What do you mean? She called herself a tool. Which means someone else used her then? Of course. Ooh, Hiko. Yep, she is. I see. Who said to school as his fucking bodyguard? I did have a sneaking suspicion all along. What do you mean? I mean, besides Pekko and Kyoko, someone else was also at the beach house. Someone else? There is proof that establishes that fact. Try to remember it. Ruth, there was more persons. <laughs> Yeah, three people. So it was. That's right. I mean, so it was Kyoko, Kazuichi, and Kazuichi. When he got there, that was when the body announcement happened. Which means that it includes fucking the killer, and then a third person who was there with the killer. Okay, I get it. I am following logic. That announcement is made when at least three people discover a body. And in this particular case, the killer, Pekko, is not one of those three. If that's the case, it would mean only Hyoko and Kazuichi discovered the body, but... I see. That leaves us one person short. So that means there was one more person in the beach house! Plus, the fact that Monokuma tried to hide that truth from us by being flexible with his own rules. That's such a vital clue that it could alter the outcome of the trial. Like an accomplice, for example. No, it's not it. Huh? Am I wrong? Yes. From your basic way of thinking about it, you are wrong. Didn't I tell you? I'm just a tool. That means I'm just a simple tool to be used by that person. You speak up. Therefore... That person would have the strongest motive out of anybody else here, right? Did 
The best occurred in the game should have definitely occurred in real life. There's awful lot of that too. I can prove it with this. I didn't think it was necessary to confirm it if it didn't have anything to do with Mahiru's murder, but there's no doubt that game is based on actual events. That much is clear if you saw the ending prize. The photos awarded for beating the game are not actual in-game screenshots. They're all actual photos, with the surrounding scenery cropped out. You knew all along, Fuyuhiko, didn't you? You knew whether or not the first victim in the game was actually your little sister, right? Because whoever beat the game first will receive the end of the prize. It was the envelope, right? The person who received the ending prize, it was you, wasn't it? If you were shown a photograph of your sister's dead body, you'd have no choice but to believe it. Even so, you wanted to deny the truth. That's why you sent those photos to Mahiru to confirm it. Hey! Why are we talking about Fuyuhiko? Who cares? Cause... Echo is the killer, right? But you were encoded! That's why I told you. You're all too late. As I said before, I exist as nothing more than a tool. I had no motive for killing Mahiru. No reason to kill. Not even the will to kill. I was simply used as a tool. As long as I am a tool, I cannot defy my orders. Call yourself hey, a tool. What's going on? Can anyone give me a simpler explanation? She you works for the Kuzaria family. Wow. Oh. true killer who used me as their weapon to kill Mahiru Koizumi was Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. What? What the hell? What? I see. What? That's what you were aiming for all along. No, I have no way. But my young master does. My young master planned this from the start. Young oh, master? That is the truth of this case. I'm sure you realize it by now. But it's too late. You cannot undo the world. That's a problem. If Peko's allegation holds up, that means our vote was incorrect. In that case, the person who gets to live is... Just... me? That's nuts! No matter how you look at it, that's completely insane! But how would Peko be a tool in the first place? Peko is a legitimate human being! That's not for you to decide. It's for Monokuma. The votes have been cast. All we can do now is wait and see what Monokuma decides. What the hell? <laughs> oh, good. Drama. Not bad overall. Hmm, a B? 
what a bind it is. I guess for now, let's take a quick recess. We'll be right back after this commercial break. No, oh, this video is already three hours long. Hold on a sec. <laughs> Sorry. Hey! Hey, hey! Because you <laughs> did it. There's some fucking... For whatever reason! Only exists to be tools? Hey. But yeah, like, for whatever fucking reason, I watched Danny the Dog, like, <laughs> Unleashed, the Jet Li movie, not long ago. Um. I don't know, I'm getting fucking, like, weird vibes of that from this. My young master is attacked. I must defend him as his shield. If he intends to kill, I must be his sword. That is my only reason for living. Before I am human, I am my young master's tool, first and foremost. Until this body of mine can no longer move, I shall fulfill my duty until the very end. That is. I mean, like that's. Ah, uh, whatever. Nothing. Huh? All right. <laughs> what? But a tool. But so Sodok? Swodok? Sword wielding organism designed only for killing? And the one who tried to kill my hero wasn't you, it was Fuyuhiko? Oh, cause she dead. Don't fuck with me. Yeah, she dead. Memory got stolen. Like nothing he said, nothing Con yeah. Monokuma has said has been a lie. The thing that kind of like find frustrating and funny about this is that so. this entire thing is like Monokuma has told them basically everything. Like not details but in terms of full on thing we know everything that has happened to them like they were at school for a couple years then they get the memories got erased and they're brought here same kind of thing with the first game it's just this one lays it out fucking immediately and so seeing every single character in this game just go even seeing, seeing every character in this game just go through the motions um, again 
is kind of funny and a bit frustrated, frustr frustrating, just because I know, Aww. like we all know that this is actually like, yeah, this is happening. Oh my my! Not mm. one. So, what the? we got almost everything wrong, with the exception of the actual Trigger Man and, like, motive. And so... Up to the very end, just, just hey, you, you fucked up, dog. You fucked up, dude. Jeez. Chiaki. 
That's gonna be a shame when she dies. If I remember, the trigger man is still the one who fucking, like, doesn't matter motor or anything, it's whoever did the actual act of killing. That's obviously wrong. Hear him out, bro. Great. Wrong. God, I kind of love this guy. What? Like it's a bit of a it's a bit of a back and forth with me and Jeez. Nagito, but just I like it. I like it when he fucking gets all like super crazy. I mentioned this before, but... Terra Terra, that was his fucking name. You don't really feel that way, right? You're not that kind of person. Because if you were, you wouldn't be hesitating like you are now, right? <clears throat> master. Also, he was, going, he was pushing real hard for us to not call Peko Peko the killer. Oh, Peko the killer. So I got Terror Terror on the mind still. You get your ultimate choice. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Damn it. Young master. 
I am finished. You... you. What the hell did you do? You already know, right? What's going to happen after you kill someone? I did it because I know. There is no way I can let that happen to you. Yeah. Hey, Pekka. Do you remember what I told you when we first arrived on this island? Our professional relationship doesn't exist on this island. We're just fellow high school students now. You need to run. Got it? Just let me take the fall so you can get away. Young master, that is impossible. Sh Shut up! I'm ordering you not to worry about me! There is no way I cannot worry about you. I am my young master's tool. A tool to protect <laughs> my young master. Without an own Oh, God. The tool serves no purpose. God damn it, we are done with that crap! Why won't you listen to what I'm saying? Regardless, I will not flee. Besides, I'm fairly certain they'll discover the truth soon enough. Then, why did you... I have a plan. Huh? A plan? Please, do not worry. A I Kaku, if you will. I will keep my young master alive and return him safely home. You, you idiot. What do you intend to do? I intend to fulfill my duty as your tool. Now please, go! God. Hyoko will be waking up soon. After you leave, I must block the door to the road with Mahiru's body. Hurry! Damn it. You better run away. Got it? Just forget about me! Forget about the Kuzuryu clan! You better escape! It's not bad for you, Hiko. Please, tell me the truth. Sorry. Young master! I'm a disgrace. I just want a girlfriend. Young master. Oh. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> oh, God. Yay. She's going to die now. Woo. It's a good thing, because fuck me. Yeah, of course he did. He knows everything. Jeez. You forget about the cameras everywhere. Pays like the Kazuma Kiryu of children. <laughs> what? Even so, I wanted you to escape. Echo. I am 
terribly sorry. Goodbye. Oh? And please do not cause a senseless killing such as this ever again. Of, of course. <laughs> I will never feel despair. So cool. I'll get to the end of lose your shit. Do it. You need this. The only master for you, Hiko. So. Just fucking munch my box. God. Thrills, okay, good. They're actually going to be getting some fucking. Thrills. Why? Now then, I prepared a very special punishment. I. Fucking say it, dude. Piece of shit. I never needed a tool. So. You didn't need to become a tool. Let's give it everything we've got! You just... You just needed to be yourself. I, I never wanted a tool. I just wanted you. Only you. The master? Why? Why couldn't you understand? We've always been together ever since we were kids! Let's go! It's punishment time! Yes. Please, Peko! Don't go! I need you! Don't leave me! Young master? Young master? Yes! Oh, so good! Oh, very nice. It's like a voodoo doll. Oh shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, that is spectacular. That might be my favorite one so far. Oh, so good. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. This, this can't be. This 
is a lie, right? Echo! I'm not gonna scream. It's like fucking nine at night. Such a waste. I live in a fucking apartment building. I can't scream. I live in a slum. I can't fucking s just scream. What are friends in the face of hope? Such despair. Isn't that right? Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, buddy. It really does. <laughs> Talk about Makoto, baby. Carefully. You're the Nega Makoto. <laughs> You've got the weird fucking inverse hair shit. How much longer are you planning on saying such stupid things? Don't you understand? Even Fuhiku died, you know? Wow. That was a fucking sentence. Oh Lord. shit. Everyone. He just got Serious? stabbed. <laughs> oh god, this shit's freaking out. Frantically rush over to Fuyuhiko's side. He's he, he still... He's he still breathing. Is he gonna be okay? Oh, fuck. Do something! Hey! You need to save him! Hey! Uh, I'm trying! But his blood... He won't stop bleeding out! His pulse is getting weaker! Can't you... Can't you do anything about it? Not wrong. Huh? Hey, hey. It's locking an explosion because they will only kill. Kuma, a slave to the rules. So really? Like and that's when it happened. A siren began ringing from out of nowhere. And gradually grew closer and closer. observation though we're just gonna watch him bleed out and after he said that 
The ambulance containing Monokuma and Fuyuhiko vanished from our sight. There's a reason I don't talk to you, Gundam. D damn it! I didn't realize it, but I was wishing for that too. From the bottom of my heart, I really wanted them to return. I didn't want anyone else to be a sacrifice. And so, the class trial ended. But we still can't see the real ending that we really want yet. When that finally arrives, what will have happened to us by then? No matter where I look, no matter what possibilities I look for, I can't see our future, not even a speck. As if we were in a boat floating unreliably in a vast, dark sea. We were just left there, alone. Only one word could explain our situation. Despair. We couldn't find a more suitable word than that. Ah, oh, shit, it's Gantz. This is getting interesting. This is getting real interesting. Okay, we're down to 12. Dirty dozen. And that's gonna do it for this episode, probably. Thank y'all for joining me. I'll be back at some point with more of this. Because, fuck, goddamn, I love this game. But anyway. Until then, I'm dead. We'll see you guys next time. Excuse me while I whip this out. Woo!